Hi, this is Sean Zenz, Sales Engineering Team Lead at Enable Technologies. This video will walk through how to create and execute Office 365 automation policies within Encentral. To manage an Office 365 account, you will need to install the required PowerShell commandlets on a device that is within your customer's environment. You must install the appropriate version of the Microsoft Online Services Sign-In Assistant and the Windows Azure AD module. Links to these software packages are provided within the video description. Software requirements for Microsoft Online Services Sign-In Assistant and the Windows Azure AD module include a device with one of the following operating systems, Windows 7, 8, 2008 R2, or 2012, Microsoft.NET version 3.51, and finally, install any missing Windows updates. Once all components are installed on a device within your customer site, you'll need to create an executing device or SaaS device. Navigate from the service organization to the customer level and click the All Devices view. Select the SaaS Devices tab, proceed to Add a new SaaS device, name your SaaS device Office 365, and choose Office 365 as the service vendor. Enter in an Office 365 account with administrative rights. This is the account that will connect to Office 365 and make changes based on your policies. Check the box to the left of our newly created SaaS device and click Run Automation Policy. To try an Office 365 policy, select one from the drop-down repository item. We'll take a look at the policy called Create Office 365 User as an example. You will need to supply the policy with a few inputs for Office 365 Authentication User's Name and Office 365 Authentication Password, choose the asset variable to Device Credentials Username, which will invoke the account you specified when creating the Office 365 SaaS device. You will need to also set the Office 365 Authentication Password to Device Credentials Password to use the password on the SaaS device. For the rest of the text inputs, enter in the appropriate information. The executing device will be the one you installed the PowerShell commandlets. You can leave the executing device as best available, as this will automatically select a device that meets the criteria to run the policy. At this point, you can choose to save to execute the policy. The results of the policy will be located within the job status under views. From the service organization level, located under the actions tab, go ahead and click start automation manager. Here you can design a new policy such as Create an Office 365 User. Choose New Policy and then name and describe your policy. Now you can review the built-in objects. Located on the right-hand panel, scroll through the list to Office 365 Distribution Groups. From this category, scrolling down through the list, you can drag and drop any one of these objects. Drag and drop Delete User to the middle. This object requires three inputs. Go ahead and create input parameters so that you can modify these values when you execute the policy from Encentral in the future. Click Start, and this is where you will define your input parameters. Once created, you will select the input button and choose the newly created input parameters. Select the green arrow on the top left to upload your newly created policy back to Encentral. From the customer level, select the SAS device tab. Check the SaaS device from the list and click Run Automation Policy. Now, you can select your policy from the drop-down menu and use it for all the customers you wish.
For more information on Office 365 management within Central, please visit the Enable Resource Center.